very good morning to all this is vc from vc's academy in today's class we will discuss about experiments with affids so one of the important topic in chapter transportation so this may come as experimental question or for four marks question so we will go into it so if you see the diagram uh, we have here that a feed is extracting food material from plant so experiments with affids provide evidence that food is transported through phloem so why we will do this experiment especially with affids is to get evidence that food is transported through phloem phloem sieve tubes are extremely small and the analysis of their content is not easy so when we see the phloem sieve tubes they are microscopic and they cannot be analyzed easily so the content is to be analyzed it must need some other source affids proboscis is the best device to obtain the cell sap from the phloem sieve tubes so in the previous classes we have known what is meant by cell sap so here affids proboscis is used as the best device to obtain the cell sap from the phloem sieve tubes once the insects are allowed to bite the stem so here insect is nothing but affid they pierce their proboscis into the stem so that the ends of the proboscis into the stem so that the ends of the proboscis reaches the sieve tubes exactly so what happens here when the aphid bites the stem it enters its proboscis into the stem so that the end of the proboscis into the stem so that the proboscis reaches the sieve tube exactly an aphid is killed while in the act of feeding and the body is then carefully cut away leaving the hollow proboscis still inserted into the phloem so when the act of feeding is going on the aphid is killed and the body is carefully cut or dissected away from it at that time the proboscis is left inserted into the phloem it was found that the contents of the phloem sieve tubes are under slight pressure so there may be a little pressure that is what they have observed in the phloem sieve tubes the fluid slowly exudes from the cut end of the proboscis into outside in the form of drops so from the phloem sieve tubes the fluid exudes outside through the proboscis in the form of droplets these drops are then collected and analyzed so what we will do next so we will collect the drops which are from the phloem sieve tubes and we will analyze them so after doing the analysis of these droplets it is shown that more than 80% of the tra total translocation is sucrose so what we have found so we have found that 80% of the droplets which are produced or transported through phloem contains sucrose 